So this question is a simplify question. We know that because the question is short, simplified questions are typically between one and three lines long. And because simplified questions contain either an equation or an expression. In this case, we have an equation. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, x squared minus 8x plus 20 equals zero. And the question says, how many distinct real solutions does the given equation have? Well, I just need to simplify this. I'm going to first start off with seeing, is there or are there two factors of 20 that add up to negative 8? There actually are not. Um, let's see, 10 and 2 would be 12, negative 4, negative 5 would be negative 9. There are not. So I'm going to use a quadratic equation, which is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, I realize there's a shortcut actually here because this square root, this step here, which is called the discriminant, is what determines how many solutions there are. So for me, given my equation here, I know that my a is 1, my b is negative 8, and my c value is 20, right? That just comes from the 1, the invisible 1 that's there, the negative 8 here, and the 20 is my c value. So my b squared minus 4ac would equal negative 8 squared, which is negative 8 squared, like that, minus 4 times 1 times 20. Negative 8 squared is 64. Minus 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 20 is negative 80, so minus 80. And that's going to equal negative 16. Now, that negative 16, remember, is here and technically under a radical. Now, if I have a square root of a negative number, that means I'm going to get imaginary solutions. Hopefully that sounds familiar to you from school. Anytime you take the square root of a negative, you get an imaginary. For instance, neg the square root of negative 16 is actually equal to plus or minus 4i. Okay. This question is asking how many distinct real solutions we have. We just figured out that we actually have imaginary solutions. So there are exactly zero real solutions, right? That doesn't mean there are no solutions. We, we're going to end up with two imaginary solutions. But there are zero real solutions to this question. 